Hello, hello, welcome Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, Cross Watchers. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tierka Love. How are you all doing? All right, y'all. So, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, it's time for us to get some messages for you all for the month of November. It is almost Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, happy birthday to Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp. Uh, and y'all, okay, let me stop stuttering. Let's get started. Please know that these will be general messages. <laughs> uh, they may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up uh, that they will resonate with, okay? If you all are new here, again, welcome. I really hope you're going to find some messages here that will be helpful to you all. If you all are returning, welcome back, um, you all. Thank you to everyone that has previously liked, subscribed, shared, commented, or even just watched. I greatly appreciate it, okay? <coughs> Sorry, y'all. If you all are active on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and you would like to go check me out on my other social media platforms, just feel free to go down to that description box below. Click on the links. Um, I do have them listed, okay? All right, y'all. So I'm ready to get started. Y'all see, we are ready to get started. I got the surrounding energy of your connection for the month of November. We have the Two of Cups here with the Five of Pentacles. Um, if we're dibbling to Zodiac signs, we have Cancer energy here and we have Taurus energy here. Okay. But um, the surrounding energy, this is someone that you do want to get close to. Your surrounding energy. This is someone that you feel a lot of love um for this is someone that you want to offer your cup of love to and you want them to offer their cup of love to you here um this is a could be a friendship that is growing to something more okay also but you got the five of pentacles so someone here is could have some fears surrounding money uh, maybe needing to focus on their finances right now um there could be some uh, maybe I would say I want to say stagnation it's just um, some fear surrounding money okay all right but let's let let's keep going y'all so I'm laying out the energy here we diving in we're gonna see what's going on Scorpio Sagittarius cusp okay all right situation here you have no respect, okay? So in your love connection, in your situation, right now you feel that there are times when you um, is disrespected or this person is disrespecting you here. But that doesn't mean that this has to be a deal breaker, you know? But you do want to look and see if this cycle keeps repeating. If this is a repeating pattern, perhaps it's time for you all to walk away. So the situation here, you feel like there is a lack of respect. You're about ready to walk away if you you don't get the respect you feel you need um, and you deserve and you have been given okay so how do you feel about this here you're ready for a gift okay so expect a gift or a romantic date night invitation your time has come to enjoy a beautiful union filled with love and a romantic gesture so you feel like you are ready for your person to come in with some type of um, gesture romantically um, because you do feel like this is a beautiful union here, okay? What are some stagnations? You got unawakened. So this person that you're dealing with right now is not ready to accept this connection and is rejecting this love because um, they are still kind of living in a conventional world, okay? In the recent past here, um, there was a possibility, well, you felt like there was a possibility that you two wouldn't end up together here in this lifetime due to circumstances outside of your control so in the recent past you got not in this lifetime um so we're gonna look more into that okay all right but what are you hoping for you're hoping for either uh, a marriage here you're hoping to move in towards a connection here with this person maybe for some of you all you are hoping that your person kind of Step away if they are in a situation with someone else. You are hoping that this person kind of step away from them, that person and just begin to 
give you their all their attention here in time okay what well, what is coming towards you all we have this unplanned events so you could be meeting someone in an unexpected place here what's coming towards you all maybe your soulmate here prepare for the unexpected so we're going to get some more um messages here how are you viewing yourself you do maybe you see yourself as someone who is always in some toxic situation we got toxic relationships to give you an opportunity to overcome unresolved pain so take this time to heal grow and become more aware um so how you viewing yourself you're trying to heal grow and become more aware in your situations okay uh who or what is coming towards no who or what are you moving towards you have this mania love here so this kind of love leads to madness obsessiveness often wanting reinforcement could be leading or moving towards someone who is codependent or you being codependent on um someone okay on your person all right so let's look more into the situation situation here um this person got 99 problems okay and they're not confessing into to neither one until they are caught here um someone is determined to keep the both of you here they could be gaslighting you as well but how you feel about this here you feel like um, that there are some things going on in a dark here with this person that you do want this romantic gesture from. There is a fear of the unknown or this person is fearing the unknown here. Um, you don't quite know what's going on in the situation at this time. Okay. Clarifying the obstacles here. Uh, right now, this person is not sure where this connection is headed. They do need more time before they are able to make a decision here. Um, this person is having a lot of doubts and this is causing confusion, okay? In the recent past, it was like there was this desperate type of energy where um, someone couldn't let the other go here. Um, they was fearing ending a relationship okay when it comes to your hopes you're hoping maybe you met this person online there's some suspicious online activity so maybe um you could be digging up some dirt hoping to find out uh the truth hoping for something here or for some of you all you could have met this person online could be doing some online dating who well, what is coming towards you all we got too late here so um this unplanned event Someone is going to feel pressured to make a decision here or this could be taking a long time for this person to kind of come towards you all. But it could be someone that maybe have been taking a while with these unplanned, unplanned events. Okay, so it could be someone that has been taking a while. All right, we'll clarify how you view yourself. You could be avoiding sex for some reason. Um, no sex with your current partner or you fearing intimacy here or um, yeah okay um, who or what are you moving towards we got secret meetings intimate encounters um, there's more that's going to be brewing up here uh, moving towards for some of you all this is a regular side piece but we're going to keep going and see what's going on y'all all right, let's get some more messages towards this connection between Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, and their love interest for the month of November. All right, so you feel like this um, is someone that you are spiritually connected to. Let's look more into the situation. Let's look more into this situation. Okay, it could be a childhood love. Someone that you do feel uh, spiritually connected to here. Uh, this in a situation, someone could already be in some type of connection, okay? Let's look more into your surrounding energy. There are some trust issues. So you got some trust issues or your person is dealing with some type of trust issues that is causing some stagnations here. You do want to grow old with this person. This person is really in their masculine energy, okay? Looking more into the obstacles. All right, so there is, could be a lack of passion here. Obstacle here is someone has to take this leap of faith, okay? Um, and that there, there are some addictions. Someone got to release what is no longer serving them as well, okay? And get rid of the addictions here, okay? So let's look more into Scorpio Sagittarius Cus. Look more into um, the recent past between you and your love interests. 
Yeah, in a recent past, someone yeah, was in some type of relationship. You could have been in a relationship here with this person. But there was a commitment. Someone was in a commitment here, but they still was expressing their need and want for you. Okay? Looking more into your hopes. Tell us more. You are hoping for changes here. But right now, it's like your person is not quite ready. So... Yeah, when it comes to your hopes here, your person is not quite ready. They're still dealing with some type of karmic partner or there is some some karmic energy here, okay? So, let's see. How's your person feeling? This person is coming towards you. How are they feeling about you? Okay, this is someone that is anxiously waiting. They do search for you and everything. They feel you everywhere. You're always in the back of their mind. They are hoping to run into you again. Um, this person that's coming towards you, they do find you very, uh, extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone is more deserving of your love here. Who are you moving towards? Um, you're moving towards someone where... Their heart or your heart is going to be overflowing with so much love. But this love is kind of going to be a bit scary here. Also, you're moving towards your twin flame. So, um, you don't have to be or do anything for this person to love you. Their higher self wants a union as much as you do. Okay. So, let's get some more messages. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp. Your person wish that you two could move into a better space. They're not sure on how to do this here. They will contact you soon. That is their intentions. They can feel you giving up. So expect the unexpected. Um, they are holding on to you and to the deepest parts of them. It may seem like they let you go on the surface, but they haven't let you go because they do not want to let you go. Okay. So let me get you all some advice. Let's get the viewers some advice for the month of November. Advice for the viewer. Oh. All right, cards fell on the floor. You all have the hermit, which is a Virgo energy here. Okay, so you got to spend time in meditation. Um, you're going through some type of self-discovery here in the month of November here. Um, you're going to be learning some spiritual lessons as well in the month of November. This card signals that you benefit from spending time alone. Listen to your inner voice. Meditation is essential. As the path to enlightenment is an inner journey. Be silent and experience the joy that comes for, from seeking the truth of your own heart. Learn to feel comfortable in your own company. After all, there is a difference between being alone and being lonely. So this card also signifies spiritual teaching. So it can mean that you have wisdom to impart to others or that perhaps it's time for you to find a spiritual teacher. Sharing wisdom is part of your spiritual journey, especially right now. Okay, so this is your message. Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp Cross Watchers for the month of November. I really hope that these messages will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. I salute the divinity in you all. I am sending you all so much love, light, and positivity. And I will see you beautiful people. Oh, thank you all for your like, subscribe, shares, comments. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye.